What's up guys, Nate here from BD Outdoors. Uh, we have a nice Southern California bluefin here. Uh, me and some members of the team were out fishing and we caught multiple nice kite fish, so we were lucky enough to find them that day. Um, this is a nice, I'd say probably 150 to 170 pound bluefin. Um, we're actually gonna be cutting it using the Dexter Dextreme knife. Dexter has been making top quality fishing cutlery since 1818. They're family owned and operated, um, all American made. Uh, this particular knife is gonna be the scalloped edge Dextreme and what this is actually used for is cutting through the tougher parts of the fish. We're gonna break this whole fish down. So I wanna have the loins cut out, the bottom section cut out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and keep the collars because those are really tasty. And of course, we're gonna have some nice pieces of Toro. So we really wanna do a full breakdown. The scalloped edge is gonna be great for cutting through the skin and for the collar parts, which are generally a little bit harder to cut through with a straight edge knife. So I have the scalloped extreme here. Uh, our first cut is to get that nice coveted top loin piece. Um, that's the piece that you generally see in the Instagram pictures of people holding up. It's really nice ruby red. We're gonna use a scallop edge for that because the back skin on these fish is relatively tough. So keep in mind, we're gonna keep this collar intact. So we're gonna start right behind the fin here and we're gonna cut up all the way up the head because there's actually a lot of good meat up in here and then cut out the bottom loin as well so you come away with two really nice cuts. Again, the outline is gonna be using the scalloped blade. So now that I did the outline of the top loin here, I'm gonna to switch to the straight edge knife because I don't wanna be hacking through the meat. I wanna be just slicing across. This should just fold right off, guys. So I'm just gonna stick my hand in here. Oh yeah. So boom. There's your nice big top loin. Obviously there's a little bit of darker meat in there from the bloodline, but that can be easily removed before you cut up your sashimi or any other cuts you want. So now that we have our outline with the serrated blade, we're just gonna finish slicing all the way through. So I'm just gonna set my line and drag and just kind of keep a light, light grip on my knife and kind of feather it along the bone there. You have the skeleton up here that you just need to unattach. And this should come pretty much right off. So we have the, the top loin off, the bottom loin off. Uh, two key pieces of the, of the fish that we wanna keep intact are gonna be the collar, which is here. So from the top of the head to the fin here, all the way down, that's gonna be the collar piece. That's gonna be excellent in the broiler, however you wanna prepare it. Um, and perhaps the most pr prized piece is gonna be the toro here. And you're gonna have toro on both sides of the fish. I like to cut it on a big fish into two pieces. So when we gilled and gutted the fish, we already made an incision here. So I'm gonna continue that up the bottom of the fish and I'm gonna make this cut here, which is gonna separate the collar from the belly or the toro. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the serrated or the scalloped edge uh, of the Dextreme knife for that. So now what we got left is the collar. We got the top loin, the bottom loin, the Toro on one side, so the collar. This one is kind of the one where if you have a construction background, it's gonna help because it's really tough to cut and that's why this edge is gonna be helpful. So top of the gill plate, down and all the way through. So boom. There it is. So it just had to break through there and you can see that's a really, really clean cut. 
So now that I got now that I got the top cut with the scalloped edge, we're gonna use the straight edge to just kind of get this detached here. Okay, so this is cut on the top end. We're gonna go to the bottom end. Again, this is gonna be a serrated edge cut because you're gonna go through. You can see I split the gill plate when I was cutting out the Toro here. So now all I gotta do is that. And this is gonna be one half of the collar. Just gotta make some little trims here. Easy. Boom. So we just cut the collar out. This is a really, really good cut of fish. Um, great in the broiler. You can do a simple prep, salt, pepper, garlic, kind of create a salt crust and broil it. It's really, really good that way. Or you could do it a little bit more with a, like an Asian fusion type deal with lemon, uh, ponzu, or really kind of, you can't really go wrong with it. It's a really, really good cut of meat. Kind of reminds me of beef in the broiler. Um, again, it's cool to have two knives, one serrated and one straight edge. Uh, these two dextremes allowed me to cut this collar piece without dulling my straight edge knife. Um, the collar is a really, really tough part to cut normally. And so that serrated or scalloped edge blade is really, really useful. So for loining out the top loin, we're going to use the straight edge dextream knife just because um, it's just going to make more of a precision cut. And these are gonna be staked out, right? So you want that, that nice uniform appearance. And then when we get to the bottom of the loin, there's gonna be that skin section. I leave the skin on uh, if I'm gonna freeze the fish. And I always recommend the second you cut the fish, either eat it or vacuum seal it, pat it down with paper towels. I like to put a paper towel in the vacuum seal bag, vacuum seal it right away, and I find that it stays better with the skin on, but that's just personal preference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make, you know, one and a half thick cuts vertically. And again, limit the hacking. I like to just use a slicing motion forward and back. And then just. Okay, so just cutting through that skin with the scalloped edge is gonna be a breeze, just done. Boom, there's a piece. Okay, so this is gonna be the bottom loin. We already trimmed it up a bit. So the bottom loin, it's gonna be the same process as the top loin. You're gonna cut down vertically, um, cut into stakes the width that you'd prefer. Uh, I like to do one and a half inches just because it's quick to sear, um, leaving the inside nice and raw and just it's just a quick process. So this bottom one, we're just gonna cut with a straight edge and we're gonna make these cuts vertically. Um, obviously you saw we kept the Toro, we kept the collar. There's so many parts of these fish. Um, I feel and I think BD feels that it's really important to use all the parts and please don't kill more fish than you know you can eat. Uh, we want these things swimming around our coast for a while.